steps back. One, two. Watch All right. Three. All right. Three. 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 Opposites, all the way down. Okay. Now, I know you guys are All right, media, if you could just take a quick step back. Two feet. Thanks, guys. This is Anna, the outreach director. I'm sure I've emailed some of you guys about this. I would like for everyone to still be able to get their photos. I know it's a big deal. So as you get your photo, please go to the back so other people can get their photo. Media who have checked in with me and are wearing their badges, you're welcome to stay up to the front, stay off the stage, not a foot on the step, please. We want to keep this orderly. And there should be plenty of time for everyone to get their photo. It's going to take them some time to do the judging, okay? So just be patient, and if I ask you to step back, please do so. Thank you. All right, I'm going to tell you who the judges are for the Best Bud Contest, and then I'm going to turn it over to Adam to give a little speech, and then Chris Washburn will be emceeing this event. Okay, so the judges today for the Best Bud Contest include Mark Perry of Mark's Organic Landscaping, also winner of Nine Ribbons today. So that's Mark. Also Natalie Rule, who worked in the California cannabis industry. Thank you, Natalie, for being here today. And Adam Edinger, owner of Capital Hemp and uh, DCMD Social Action Director. Thank you for being here. The sponsor of this contest is Chris Washburn of Let's Grow DC. Let's give Chris and Let's Grow DC a big round of applause. Um, uh, if you'd like to say a few words before Chris starts on that would be great. Okay, so uh, my name is Adam Heidinger and I'm the proposer of Initiative 71. And here we are a year later, we're, we're having a Best Bud contest. Hundreds of people across the city, maybe even thousands, are growing cannabis at home for the first time. And I hope what we do today encourages all those home growers to keep at it, to get better at it, to come next year. I hope we have hundreds of entries next year. I think, we, how many entries were this year? 64. 64 entries. Woo! So anyone who says that people wouldn't take advantage of a home grow law, well, here's the evidence. They are taking advantage of it. And this is cannabis that people can save, put money in their pockets. They're literally not spending money on cannabis, and instead, they're growing it for themselves. Just like all those folks here who grew tomatoes, or squash, or zucchini, or cucumbers, or whatever you're growing out there, you're putting money in your pocket every time you do that. You're saving money, right? Yeah. That's a beautiful thing. That's what working people do. They take advantage of every little piece, nook and cranny to grow something. Because you can have corn in your front box. You can have whatever in the backyard. So. I only got one more minute. I just want to say we've got more work to do fixing this law. People should be able to go and buy cannabis easily. Over 21, you should easily be able to buy it. And currently, there's still a lot of hurdles. You've got to pay hundreds of dollars in fees just to get the right to buy. That's discriminatory against poor people. I'm tired of it. The plant should be treated like any other plant, any other crop. You should be able to go to the Whole Foods, you should be able to go to the farmer's market and buy it. And so I'm so proud of all these non-cannabis users here. <laughs> There's a lot of you out there who don't use cannabis who are supporting our rights to grow cannabis. So I applaud you folks for standing up for your neighbor's rights. You know who you are, <laughs> you straight folks out there. Don't touch it. That's great. It's not for everybody. But for the adults who use it responsibly, we thank you. And we thank you. This is a wonderful community gathering. And now we're going to start the judging. We're going to look at the top five. Okay, I just got back from Burning Man, so I didn't look at 64. I'm only looking at five. And uh, we're going to get the results, like, now. So let's get this on. I'm going to pass this off. We have some judging music. Thank you. Thank you. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for coming out today. Uh, I'm going to announce a little bit of information here for you real quick. So this Best Bud contest is going to be judged on a few variables. Sight, smell, touch. Anybody who's ever handled marijuana knows what good marijuana looks like. Now, unfortunately, we cannot smoke it. And that goes for you guys out there too, so please do not light up at this event. It's very important to everyone who's worked hard to throw this event that it continues to go on. If you do light up, we're gonna ask you to leave. But if you decide to not light up and keep it in your pocket, we love you for it. So stick around, Woo! definitely enjoy this as much as you can. Make sure to stop by every booth and say hi to every single vendor that's here. So real quick, guys, I'm going to walk you through a little bit of what the judges are seeing. Right here, number 15, we've got the Yeti Kush. Yeah! 
Now the story behind the Yeti Kush goes as follows. I grew my plants from seed using my own super soil recipe. The base was Fox Farm Ocean Forest dirt with my own blend of organic and in some cases veganic amendments during the veg and flour, including non-sulfured molasses, kelp meal, and earthworm castings. These plants were grown indoors using a 250 watt HBS light and a 240 watt G8 LED light. They were flowered for 8.5 weeks, with the last two weeks being a pure water flush. Only distilled water was used to feed these plants. This bud is the piece from a main cola on the stinkiest, most resinous of the four plants that I grew. The seeds were from TH seeds and were feminized Burmese Kush, which is a Burmese XOG Kush. It is a very special phenotype of Burmese Kush from TH seeds selected for resin production and smell while flowering. All right, so everybody give it up for the Yeti Kush. All right, guys, right here we've got the Capital OG Chronic. Give it up for the Capital OG Chronic. DC Wicked a.k.a. Capital OG Chronic, was grown 100% organically indoors. It was also only watered with filtered spring water. Our goal was to grow the cleanest, best-tasting bud ever. We wanted to keep it as close to Mother Nature as possible. It was grown under 600 watts of HPS lighting in Fox Farm Ocean Forest with CO2 supplementation to 1500 ppm. DC Wicked's genetics originally hail from Huntington Beach, California. A friend gave me a cutting, explained to me that this was a cutting from one of the original OG Kush, origin grown, ocean grown Kush, original gangster Kush, is not what OG stands for. Although many people think that is the case. Mother plants that later became Kim Dog and a host of other strains. I then crossed the offspring again with lemon Thai, which gives this plant a slight lemon taste and its glowing appearance. Once successfully crossed and portraying this desired characteristics, I then this bred it back into the job. original mother clone <laughs> twice and stabilized the stream. Adam, what do you think of the OG Chronic? Uh, I have not yet to judge it. Okay, he has not yet to judge that, folks. We're going to move on to the next one here. All right, guys. This is the Cincy Star. Definitely wins a Constellation Award for the most creative container uh, power generator. Oh. All right, we lost the generator, so I'll keep going. Yeah! Woo! 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 Star, right? This is uh, a very original container, obviously. You see the nice vine bud hanging from the vine, as it should be, protected. We love it. It's also a client of Let's Grow DC, so give him a shout. <laughs> yeah! All right. Woo! You're thinking I The nasty little pest that bugs all of us indoor gardeners called a spider. They really love humid places. You know, I think that any indoor gardener knows what a spider mite is. How do you guys feel about spider mites? Yeah. 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 spider mites.
are currently growing in the city. Raise your hand if you are a grower. Raise your hand if you are a grower. All right. We want to see more hands next year, everybody. So if you are interested in learning how to grow, we suggest that you reach out to DC Normal. DC Normal is really the beating heart of this movement in the city. We really love these folks. We have a weekly meeting every Wednesday just strictly for growers and people who are interested in growing. We've got people who have been growing for 30 years coming to these meetings and people who have never grown in their life. We're connecting first timers with experienced growers, putting the knowledge on the street that you need to be a successful gardener. Likewise, there are many, many, many entrepreneurs in this city who will help you learn how to grow. So if you're interested, go find DC Normal, introduce yourself, and ask how you can be a part of this movement. Please come up to the stage and say hello. All right. He's showing the space for you guys. We love you. Thank you so much for coming out and being a part of this. Come on up. Come on up here. Not a, not a mandatory thing, but we would like to celebrate this. Everybody give it up for the Yeti Kush. Okay, guys, our number two, our second place winner is the Cincy DC Star. Give it up for the yeah. DC Star, everybody. If you would like to claim your ribbon, come on up. If not, come meet us afterwards. Can you hold up the top three, please? Number two. Number two. Cincy Star, everyone look at Adam here in this Beautiful, beautiful plant we have before us. It was my favorite one, but, but the scoring, it came in second place when we averaged all the scores out. It is a very good one. Great presentation. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. We're very excited about this, obviously. We want to be able to celebrate this with you. We had 64 contestants in this. We saw some incredible blood come to this competition. Um, you know, we're, we're very thankful to everybody who supported this competition. Um, Thank you very much to the Libertine for hosting our initial judging, taking a big, a big step forward for a local business to host a cannabis competition. So without further ado, guys, I would like to announce the winner, which is the Capital OG Club. Everybody give it up for the Capital OG Club. Get out of here. Come on up here. Come on up. Speaking of uh, young entrepreneurs, give it up for give it up for this man right here. Would you like to say something? Thank you. Capital Growers, please come and see us. We offer a remote growing service where we can come in, we set you up. 150 bucks to start off with. We grow everything remotely. We don't have to come in and bother you. Plus, we teach you how to grow along the way so you're not wasting a ton of money. No. When you started, did you think you were, did you know you were gonna win? Did you feel like you were gonna win? I wanted to. <laughs> I definitely. And happy I did. When you grow, do you get any kind of like other benefits from growing? Like, like is it emotionally? I tell you honestly, it's um, it's my meditation. It's it's my peace of mind. It's my connection with the earth. It's my connection with nature. I'm a I'm an engineer by trade, and so. Mother Nature is kind of like yeah. antithesis yeah, of what I do, so it's kind of my, it's my escape. Yeah. Would you do anything differently next year? Grow more. Yeah. <laughs> anything else you want to say? No, thank you guys very much, and thank you guys to Let's Grow DC. Thank you guys, thanks Normal, thanks for the DC Fair for hosting this, um, and thanks to the community. Um, we. The community of smokers and, and everybody into this is, has always been a bunch of wonderful people that have always stuck together and helped each other out. I don't see any reason for that to change. So let's make this a community of very strong, like-minded people doing the right thing. Yeah. Yeah.